chance as well to go to work, to be clean, clean, tidy every single day. God bless you. Thank you. I've got my suitcase. Literally full of stuff. We've got probably like, yeah, maybe 15 pounds. Uh, and it's been like an hour or so. So um, Marco says that's, you know, a lot better than usual. It's usually on a good day makes to maybe um, 20 pounds in a day, something like that. So in a way, I guess we've succeeded to make people stop and think a little bit more than usual. interviews or something along those lines presumably much easier now that I have uh, a friend
My name's Kirk. Kirk. George, nice to meet you, Kirk. So what, because what you're doing is very, very nice. Yeah. You know, I feel that pain. You know, people that are on the streets, people yeah. bad circumstances, misfortune, you know, path of, of many different forms uh, that have been taken there, you know. It's a lot. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Now, I know people care, but people get so used to it that they just ignore them. It becomes so easy, especially in London, to, to walk past them and not, you know. How do you make people more aware of it? Yeah. They need to play for that, absolutely. And you've got to control people's hearts to reach out to those that are lost. Cheers, mate. I hope, I hope we find uh, more people like you. Bless you. Have a great day. God bless you, my friend, yeah? Bless Have a good you. day, man. So, all the best. So this is uh, Marco's friend. What's your, what's your name? Jose, I'm George, nice to meet you. Can you tell me a bit about what, what led you to being homeless? I lost my job. I lost my job. I go to gambling, to be honest with you. I and then when, I think the gambling addiction, I just I lost everything. But I've been clean of gambling for eight years. Right. I used to get out of it. How hard do you think it would be for an average Joe that you see walking on the street to become homeless? Because I think a lot of people feel a lot of distance between themselves and, and, and you. People say you only become homeless because you want to become homeless. Right? So nah, nah. Sometimes you become homeless and you actually don't. Yeah. Marco, Marco was telling me that you know he, he lost his parents, both his parents at the same time, and then his brother and then he just got really unlucky with someone who offered him a job that didn't didn't turn out and then before you know it like you haven't really got anyone to turn to right yeah so what do you think what do you think we can do yeah so why do you think though that people are reluctant to give you money directly often but they're they're more like because they think you're gonna go and do drugs yeah how many people do you think are? Because, like, just me today, I've spoken to about six or seven people like yourself, and only one of them that I could tell was uh, on something. The majority of people are just, just, just normal, normal people that have been unlucky, right? And, and so many people, I, I think, live paycheck to paycheck and have lots of debt that it, it, it doesn't take much does it, it to take much, but it's like I told you, yeah. society nowadays, yeah, is one paycheck ninety five percent. All right, thanks thanks for talking to me bro. Marco, tell me how much do you think it would uh, cost or what a person would need to get back off the streets? Uh, not much. Not much? Not much. We'll, we'll be enough to reach the money to get uh, a room. Yeah, so let's say for deposit and uh, rent in advance, talk about single person, I guess about £1,000. So once you have that, that is that the main thing? Because that gives you proof of address, right? Address, to get a job. Uh, chance as well to go to work, to be clean, clean, tidy every single day. Yeah. So how how hard do you think it is then to find work if you do have a room or proof it's of address? A, it's not hard at all. No? Not hard at all. So what, what? Fortunately in this country, if you are willing, yeah, you can get a job the day after. The day after? Yeah. So what, what kind of thing do you think people can do? Any kind of job, from the catering to the street cleaner, eh? yeah. uh, cleaning company, anyway. No, anyway, that job is not a problem because, as I told you, you can start work the day after. Eh? The problem is just the accommodation. That's, uh, it's very interesting to hear because I think a lot of people think that 
that's the problem, that it's hard to find work, you know, yeah, that people that, can't that, find that, work. Uh, sorry, fabulous is a big bullshit. Yeah. It's a big bullshit. Yeah, in this country, anyway, if we are willing to move your ass, we can yeah. work the day after, yeah. So can, can you tell me a little bit about what was it that caused you to become homeless? Because you told me you've only been on the street for about seven weeks, right? And it was a bit funny story through somebody else which let me come back from different city to London. He got me this job by accommodation. Basically, he took me the piece, yeah. and that's where I end up in the street. That's what, uh, so he promised you uh, a job? A job uh, better job than the one which I had, yeah. And uh, accommodation as well. But basically, just took my money for rent and the end of to, to disappear. So he disappeared with your money? Yeah. So this could happen to anyone really, right? Of course. Of yeah. To me okay. as well. Which you are, to me as well. Yeah. We're going to try and see what we can do to an uh, online fundraising and see if we can uh, follow you on your journey to getting back on your feet. God bless you. Thank you. Good man. Thank you. So that was a pretty successful day, all in all, I think. Um, definitely learned some things that I wasn't expecting. Um, but, you know, met some cool people, and I think more than anything, you realize that they're just normal people who have been unlucky. You know, they have a, just a series of pretty unfortunate events that leaves them there, and it would be pretty easy for that to happen to, to anyone, really. So what I'd love to do is I'm going to set up a, a funding page for Jose and Marco and we'll see if we can raise enough money to get them off the streets and then actually follow them and see you know, where they live, what job they get, how they do, like how hard is this to do and hopefully inspire other people to do the same thing.